Hi, I'm Sophie Herbert. I'm a contributing editor at Whole Living Magazine. And I'm Aisha Patel. I'm the style director of Living Magazine. And um, today, I'm going to show you how to drape a sari. Um, a sari is usually about five yards of fabric. And there's usually one end, which is the prettier end, like that. That's and this is the part that goes over the shoulder. And then the other end is a little plainer, and that's the part that gets tucked in, and then there's, it gets wound around it, so you don't ever see that. And a sari also has one end that, that is at the bottom, and that's usually the end has a, has a pretty border, and on the inside is something called a fall, which you attach to the sari after you've purchased it. And it just helps the sari to, dra to drape nicely. Um, so we're going to start. Okay. Let's see. And it helps me a lot to have her do this. I've, I've learned, but I forget. It's very involved. I know. So it is. And it's it. much easier. I mean, I'm comfortable with putting it on myself, but mm -hmm. not necessarily on someone else. So bear with me. <laughs> um, you did a great job earlier. So, <laughs> so you need a petticoat, which is, the, is the long skirt she's yeah. wearing underneath. And it usually has a drawstring tie so that you can tie it as tight as you like, as tight as you can bear, because really you don't want the thing <laughs> to slip out. Then you have a little blouse made that's very cute like that, with your belly showing, <laughs> hopefully. Um, so you start off with the plain end, the fall side down. And I like to start just over here to the right of your belly button. And then make sure that it's all the way to the floor. And then you wind around. Great. And this is a silk one, but they make them out of cotton, out of, we were talking about um, a wool cloth as well, and yep. polyester. And I, it's nice to tuck it around all the way, because you, it's nice to tuck it around all the way, because you don't really want it slipping off. No, that's not good. <laughs> all right. So then we find the other end. Great. Let me know if I can it's hold anything. a lot anything. of fabric. <laughs> Let's see if I can and get this all right. And all stories, there's two. And this is the shorter width, and there's one that's another half yard longer. Is that true? Well, or I, they I think there are, are some that are about nine yards. Yeah. They're worn drift differently. They're draped differently. And then there are some that are maybe a little bit shorter, seven yards, but I'm not sure. It's been a long time. <laughs> it's a lot of fabric, no matter what. <laughs> so I'm taking the pretty end, folding Beautiful. it. And hopefully I'll get it right this time. OK. That looks good. Bringing it all the way around. Wonderful. I'll hold that, thank you. And over the shoulder. Perfect. And then you can adjust the length to where you like it. Some people like it longer, like that. Some people like it shorter. And you can do whatever feels comfortable. OK. And OK. Yeah. Oh, great. So now we're left with this loop in the front, <clears throat> which is the part that you pleat. And I'm going to. Actually, oh. pretend oh, I'm you, because that's the only way I can actually <laughs> do the pleats. I'm sorry. OK. All right. So, so you use your index finger and your thumb. Index finger and thumb, and just going back and forth. And it has to be, um, make sure you go the correct direction, Hopefully. right? Because if you go this, that way, it's not going to fold properly. Well. I think I've done that. You can always have done anything wrong <laughs> in my folding. The trick is to you keep the, the, the pleats about the same size. OK. So, so that's it, your natural gauge. Is yeah. Like that. And then you make sure the pleats face the same direction as the, the palo, as it's called, mm. the part that goes over. Um, and and that, then I me? like to, because you're nice and slender, I like to pull it fairly like tight, you. like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. The palo, that's Hindi for the, the drape? It's actually okay. Gujarati, but that's. Gujarati, ah. Oh. Yeah, but different language. You know, there's 14 different languages in India, so they speak. Yeah. I don't so know there we go. Only speak There's a, a nice of... fan of the oh, pleats. That's beautiful. And then, <clears throat> and um, Aisha was showing me all her beautiful stories from her grandmother earlier. Those are there great. There we go. And then you just kind of do that. Okay. So it's it's pretty demure <laughs> once you're all covered up like that. <laughs> and then if you're working, you can always you can always just wrap this around and tuck it in, which is a nice way to show the pretty end of the sari, but it also keeps your hands really free so that you can go about working in the kitchen or in the garden or wherever. Great. Thank you so much for helping me with it. Sure. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yeah, it's very good. <laughs>